What is up guys, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to the most amazing gameplay you will ever see on Fortnite. For me, this game was absolutely incredible and I'm actually using the brand new replay system that was just introduced. They just added this into the game and so now all my gameplays are going to be recorded. So you can see this is me, name tags on, I'm going to turn that off for the rest of the game. But we're going to go through, watch this game play by play, get some crazy cool camera shots and uh, kind of just mess with this new feature. But basically, now when I play games, I can just go through the replay feature and literally just give you a voiceover after the game. Like instead of a live commentary, I can play a game, get a sick, sick win, and then come by and show you what it actually looked like. And then I can even speed it up a little bit. So if I want to get you through this boring part, we can speed up through the boring part and go to the quick stuff. So I just want to say Epic Games, one of the coolest additions I've ever seen in my entire life. This completely changes the game for recording Fortnite videos. And I was actually going to stop making these, but seeing how cool this is, I'm absolutely blown away. So um, we're going to go through this gameplay. And before we get into it, I want you guys to know that this is the most clutch game I've ever had in my entire life. And I was about heartbroken when I real oh, when I hold that, it makes a noise. I won't do that. I was heartbroken when I learned that I didn't record it. And so I was really happy to learn. Let's do a little drone mode, see what that does. Drone follow mode. I was super happy to realize that this was back. Drone follow doesn't seem to follow him as well as I thought. Drone attach attaches to him. But I made it so um, you can see players now. All right. Hopefully we're not attacking anyone. All right. That, okay, hold on. Let's back it up real quick. Uh, uh, let's, we were basically just arguing over how to get a chest at that point, And I ended up snagging it and it felt real dirty. So this gameplay is me, Big Tasty, Isaac BC, and a random dude. And the random dude, um, well, well, let's just see what happens here in a bit. Fast forward a little bit here. Wow, that's such a cool shot. So while we're watching this, until we get into some of the action here in a minute, and it gets crazy, so definitely stick around. Um, talk about something brand new on my channel. If you guys aren't around here, you know that um, here comes some sweet kills. The goal of this channel is to spread love, and that's our goal. Hold on, I'm going to time out real quick. I want to slow this down and see what the fights look like, because we can see them. So right here, I locate this dude. I know he's coming in on me. I kind of just stand here, don't even build, because I'm like, oh, this will be easy. The balloon misses. I can see him standing there. That is sick. That is sick. Let's hit some 30s. Okay, so it is showing my damage numbers on there. He hit me with a 27. My bloom's killing me, but then watch this play. Throw a grenade. Throw a couple grenades, and they, they get kind of close, but they don't actually kill him. But then I sneak down onto this ramp right here, and I know that they don't know I'm on this ramp. I could, I was hiding. Jump in front of this wall, hide there, build a ramp to hide me again, jump, and then get behind him. They had no idea he was here, so I knock him. And I believe I knocked this guy. He almost killed my teammate. I think I knock him. Come on. There he goes. Knock him, and then I also get that guy down. So we get the whole whole entire group, and I knock that guy as well. So I got three kills, although it's showing zero right there. I did get three kills right there. Could be a glitch in the system, or maybe my memory's wrong. But I'm pretty sure I got three kills at this point. Let me change it real quick to gameplay. Still shows zero. Hmm. But killed the whole team there, which is pretty sweet, and we looted some stuff. But anyway, um, so the idea of my channel is to spread love, and that is like what we're all about. So my new idea that I'm doing is daily challenges, where every single day I challenge you guys to do something. So what I'm doing is every single morning on the Alexa, if you guys have an Alexa, you can subscribe to my morning reminder. No, I'm not talking to you. She's going to turn on in a second. And then every single morning, you're going to get a reminder of a daily challenge, and they're going to be things to improve your life, because I want you guys to stop living the same lives every single day. So you can step out of your comfort zone. If you're used to coming home from school, watching movies, playing Fortnite, doing the same stuff, watching my videos, these will push you to be a better person because that's how you become a better person. It's challenging yourself, stepping outside your comfort zone a little bit. Let's go ahead and get a little fast forward. A little four times speed. Weird noise right there. Oh, th there comes a spot where I noticed my pickaxe was glowing. See, I, I didn't realize that originally the pickaxe would glow. Wow, look at the look how beautiful this is. Look at that. That's a that's a crazy screenshot, dude. I'm gonna get some sick screenshots here. Oh yeah, but that was me showing my brother. I was like, dude, look at this. Look at this axe. It glows when you get kills. I didn't know that. But these challenges are going to push you because to be a better person, you have to kind of get in an uncomfortable situation. Like think about it in terms of skiing. Even if you don't ski, um, you can kind of understand this metaphor here. So if you're a skier, a lot of people become an expert mid-class skier. No skiers get past that mid-level like Black Diamond because they're afraid to step out of their comfort zone and get into the hard Black Diamond trails. And I'm going to continue this in one second commentary on this part because it's about to get legit we see this battle going on over here like two fights coming down so i'm like oh let me snipe him i miss real bad and this is one of the craziest fights i've ever seen in this game so we can see there's still two of them left i decide i'm gonna move in my team is staying back there up there sniping i like to have some support when i run in and i know they can't see me you can see that dude he's using a bandage there which is crazy cool and i'm building up trying to get that high ground trying to get that high ground don't see him in there don't realize he's underneath me at that point. But then what I do is I peek around and I can see him right there. So I get a pop on him. 52. Jump down, miss. Miss again. Miss again. Oh, I get him there. So there's a knock. Yeah, see, it's not counting. And I'm the kind of guy who finishes the job. 
And then my brother's like, behind me, behind me. So this got a little bit messy here, but we did go back, kill that dude, and I also got a kill here. So if we were counting, we were up to five, even though it does show zero. I think it's a glitch. Um, but got that scar, got this sick build, and I'm going to pause it. Look how sick this is. Wow. So cool. So freaking cool. It hurts because I'm smiling so much about how crazy this system is. So collecting all the stuff, you know, got to get all that loot. But um, anyway, back to skiing. You're not going to be a good skier because you're afraid. You're afraid to get on those uh, big ski lifts and push yourself and do crazy things. And so if you can push yourself in real life, you can make yourself an incredible person. All right. That is so true. Two more dudes coming in right here. Knock that one. And then it's funny because you can see that blue is another team, right? That blue is another team. And he's coming up. And then what he does is he literally just stands there and stares at me as if he just gave up on the game. Like I wasn't really paying attention. I was just kind of building a little bit, trying to protect myself. He's building up and watch this. He has a gun and he just stands there. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna finish the job then. And they must have bought campfires because I got three campfires from that kill, which is pretty crazy. I'm gonna hide the HU. Oh wait, no, I want that back. That way I can uh, speed it up. And then things start to get crazy. All right, I build up. Whoa, whoa, I don't want to be that close. We're all, you know, healing up, getting our bandages, you know, making sure everything's all good to go. And, uh, come in here. And then this dude, where is he? I want to see where he approached from. I don't see him yet. I don't see him yet. I don't see him yet. All right, we're, we're going to fast forward a little bit and see when this dude comes in and pops in and tries to get us. But you heard that crossbow, so someone's shooting at us. I'm getting a little bit nervous. And then over here, we, we see these dudes over here. I see them. We don't see him until a little bit later, but we know there's dudes over here. We know we're gonna get pinched. And then I took a couple snipes at him, kind of missed, but there, I, okay, got some hits on him. There's a dude here, 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 two over here, one here, and then it just gets crazy. It just explodes. People come everywhere. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. Four times as fast as you can go. So you can see there's a dude in that building and then this guy just building this massive base back here. But look at this. Who's this guy? This is our teammate. This is our random. And this is a very, very bad play. We're all here. We're all doing great. We're, we're literally just shooting, trying to knock this down, take out this big team up here. I'm getting some great hits. People are getting hurt. Look at our teammate. What is he doing? And at this moment, we, we realize, like, what the heck is he doing? So we all jump in. We're like, we're going to save him. Unfortunately, our teammate goes down. He finishes it. But uh, I managed to get the kill there. And this puts me at, like, six kills so far. Only 19 teams left. And then we see this build, and we're like, we're not going in that. Take a couple shots at it though. So you can see some damage numbers, still different teams fighting. Some dudes getting revived. And we're like, all right, let's get out of here. Our special spot is over in the forest. So the team moves out without our random guy. We come over here and this is the craziest fight you'll ever see. So kill that dude. It's a John Wick, nothing crazy. But then there's another John Wick. All right, there's a dude right there, but there's another. Where is he? I don't even see him here. There he is, there he is. He's building up, he's building up. This dude's crazy building. Look at him go. Super quick at building. He's still going. I'm going to zoom out as much as I can here. Actually, can I do a free cam, I think? All right, so we got the free cam now, so I'm controlling this. Let's see how I can go up real quick. All right, Q and E is height. So we're going to go up, get a nice aerial view. I place that jump pad, jump up, get behind him, and I think this is my kill, and he's already built behind me. So now I'm freaking out about this, and I'm like, what the heck? So the dude's right below me this whole time. My teammate's shooting, but some of them are dead, and I'm on top, and I'm like, what do I do? And I know he's below me somewhere. You can see him right there in that blue outline. So he's a couple layers down. He's placing traps down there. My teammates are shooting rockets. It's getting crazy, and I cannot find him for the life of me. If only I knew he was one layer down, I could have killed him and ended him right there under that ramp. Couldn't find him, though. So my teammates are trying to get revived. All this loot down here. And so I pull out my rocket launcher, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to blow this whole place up. So I'm thinking he's down here, and then he is actually. I find him, but he edits down, saves my rocket from killing him, and what do you know? I kill myself, almost. Only take 14 damage. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, jump back down into third person camera here and watch this, guys. My teammates are freaking out right now. We don't think we can kill this guy because he's good. He's a good builder. He's incredible. And I know that if we kill him, we're gonna win because he's gotta have some good stuff if he's that good. So I build up, I make a Hail Mary play right here, and I'm like, this is it. This is the moment we win. Sneak up behind him, miss that shot. He blocks it. And I was like, all right, this guy's real good. And he's still building. I'm like, this is the moment my brother's like, I'm pretty sure that's Ninja up there. And he's like, I think we're playing Ninja right now. And I was like, dude, Ninja's not using John Wick. You know what I'm saying? So he's still up there. No one can get any damage. I'm shooting some grenades at him. He pops out, takes some shots right there. Just watch this. He falls right here. 
there he goes there he goes right there so he goes right there my teammate actually killed him right there together we did a bunch of damage and now we got to revive people because we have to survive i'm gonna go to drone follow no drone attach i like the. oh no okay okay we're going back to third person i like third person and then i'm like oh cool that doesn't work and the zone's closing and i have like at this point i have like five health how do i gameplay i guess i can't see my health but i had like 10 health at this point we're all trying to get on this bounce pad and get out of here and i was like screw it boys i'm going straight and so my teammates went right I want straight, and I'm at like nine kills right now, and maybe eight kills. I think. I wish that worked, that counter. But we know that if we move to this area over here, I'm gonna fast forward it. That we are gonna win. So they're down there healing. My friend drops a med kit for me, and so I hop down, take that med kit, heal it real quick, and we see the final team—a team of four, and we're a team of three. So I build that around me. You know, we're good there. But it's crazy because going against a team of four as a three, it's not likely you're gonna win, especially considering. We fast forward. You can see, all right, we jump over here. There's a chest we get real quick. And we also bought um, some weapons from this little uh, this little thing over here, which is pretty cool. Brother, I bought that for my brother, and then he bought himself a shield. So that really helped a lot. But then we see them in the distance, and they build right there. See that hill? They built right there, right in front of us. And I'm like, all right, let's go, let's go. I bolt over here because there's a chest, and there's also a drop. But now they're right in front of us, all right? So freaking out a little bit right here. And I know that if we want to win, we have to get this, all right? Because we had no health, no shields. Doesn't show us right now. Kind of wish it did. But we're freaking out. We're, like, we're not going to win this, dude. This is going to be crazy. So I open this up, get a legendary RPG. I get mini shields, pop those real quick. And then I see the zone coming, and I'm like, oh my gosh, if that hits me, I'm dead. So I grab it, take a couple shots of that, and they're sniping at me. You can see their bullets just barely miss me. None of them hit. And there's a team of four up there. And this is what we have. We have no materials. We do have this. Portable base. You'll see why that's important in a second. It's going to be our first portable base win ever. Break? I don't know what he just did there. Place a spike trap and then broke it. Really weird play. And then we just kind of build here, like in a miniature build-off, and we're freaking out. We're like, we're not going to win. So my brother takes the executive call and says, I'm going to build the I'm gonna build the big base. So I'm going to fast forward it real quick. I take some damage. We're freaking out. We're all taking damage. And then he plops it right there. He pops it right there. So I'm going to go ahead, pause it, and just look at this thing. How do I get... Let's go back to free cam here. Gameplay. Uh, drone free so he pops that and within a second we have this mega base out of metal just like that and they're building walls around the outside we're almost as high as they are so if you keep playing oops we'll go ahead and uh, go up a little bit get a nice view of this one dude this is sweet two of them down there they're just looking at each other not even playing that guy's down in the corner we knocked him from snipes that's me right there and my teammate right next to me and so we're just kind of in a little snipe off battle just kind of sitting here chilling but we, we knew we had the zone in our advantage. So I told my team, we kind of agreed, if as long as we wait long enough, we'll be good. Because they're not going to be able to, they're going to have to run to us. And we knew that. So we're like, knock this down, keep them out. And they start panic building, right? They start panic building. Also, team and John Wicks. And hold up. Hold on. Are they on the same team? I see two purples. But there's, I thought they were five I just saw. Could be wrong. But now the zone starts closing. So this is where it gets good. I only see four right there. So this is where the zone starts closing, and we knew this would happen. So I'm going to slow it down. This is me right here. And I know it's closing. Build a ramp. Hop up. And that guy, I believe he gets away. All right? I believe that one gets away. He builds over there safely. And two get right below us right here. Right below us. Oh, I'm out of the zone on my camera. So at this point, we don't even realize they're below us. All right? We have no idea they're below us. And our teammate's right down there. I think that's my brother. But we did knock him. And we did knock him. So that's one, two... Three, four, five. Oh my gosh, there were five. So that means that someone was in that tower that wasn't even on their team. Wow, I didn't know that. That's why people were hiding, because they weren't... Okay. Because I didn't even see these guys when I played. I didn't even know there were people below me. So what did they do? I don't even know who this dude is. Are they going to die in the zone? There's like a whole team right under there. So I put these spike traps down. We move in a little bit. Actually, I think that was my team back there that I was just looking at. And let's go back to third person on me. Actually, the freaking, the zone's in the way, so I'm gonna have to go back to free cam here. So there's a dude over here. This is the last guy, all right? It says there's six left, so there's gotta be two left. So we don't know where the other guy is. So watch this. Team right here, all right? Two of them right here. These are not our team. The team is yellow. Our team is yellow. Me, me, me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Oh, I just backed up. All right, so this... This is okay, it makes sense to me now. I'm like rewatching this, makes sense. So, our team's yellow, this team's purple. So, the team, there's another team below us. We don't realize this. We think they're on the same team. We don't even know they're back here. But my question is, he doesn't even revive his teammate. Look at that. 
He had a chance to revive his teammate, and instead, he headshots Brian. Beautiful shot, by the way. He headshots Brian. So, Brian goes down. I sneak up behind. That's me getting that kill right there. I'm at 10 kills right now. Alright, I have 10 kills. And our last dude's over here. So, that must mean that we killed him. The dude died back there. We don't even know what items he had. So, just as a little quick aside here, let's peek in. Let's go see what stuff he had. So, this is all the stuff that that dude had that we had no idea because we didn't know he's with us. Minis. Wow. So, there's a dude back there the whole time. No idea. The more you know. All right, that's cool. So I revived this dude back here, uh, built a campfire. Campfires were not working, actually, this entire game. They must have been glitched because they weren't healing us at all. So I was a little bit stressed about that. He's reviving him, though, and I'm making a run for it down here. And I believe kind of build some ramps, and I'm like, what the heck? I'm not healing. I'm not healing. Freaking out right now because this guy has got some good builds, you know? that's I mean, that's a quick build, all right? That's intimidating when you see that. He actually also does some damage, I believe, to me. Zone moves in, though. And then this is where it starts getting panicky. I'm going to go into my first person view real quick and show you exactly what I see in the final few minutes. I trapped myself. I just barely got a ramp up. And then this is the final run for the win. So we build up and I'm like, let's rush him. Let's rush him. I knew I hit him. Get this ramp on top of him. Miss the first. Miss the second. Hit the third. And that is the game. And we win. Three left. Just my team. First place. Doesn't show the thing, unfortunately. But freaking out because I had 11 kills that game. It just doesn't show it here, which kind of sucks. But... It was freaking incredible, guys. And this new, this new like uh, camera thing is actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like you can just jump around, but not only can you look at myself, your team. I'm pretty sure you can look at everyone. Yeah, so I can just like look around at people and fighting, like see what they saw and like what kills they got. And then I can also go to the free camera. I believe just put it on four times speed, and I can just like fly around and just see anything I want. So if I'm like, hmm, I wonder what happened over here, I just fly over here. You know? team over here i can go look at it so it's cool but anyway guys thank you so much for watching this episode if you enjoyed it please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you guys share this video with your friends look at all that building share with your friends share it on twitter whatever it is and i will be much appreciated guys thank you for being a part of the lover fan thanks for being amazing spread the love and i'll see you all tomorrow